Peter Gammons joining us on the Monday program with some thoughts and backstory on not one but two potentially influential hires, certainly for the direction of the NL East. Peter, good morning. Good morning. Let's start with Dave Dombrowski going to Philly. I, I, I'm not sure uh, if that was on your radar. It certainly wasn't on mine, but you are 10 hundred times more connected than we are. Is this something that you saw coming? Uh, I just wonder what was going to happen when Josh Burns made it clear that he was he wanted to stay in California and be near his family. Um, I thought, where are they going to go? And I think the yeah, ownership was looking for someone who has a lot of experience and can make them move fast. Now, do they have the money? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Do they have the prospects they can trade? Uh, I don't think so. So it's you know it's a difficult back, but. If there are going to be so many relievers, there were 103 right-handed relievers on the market as of a week ago Friday. If, if Dave can find a couple, two, three, four good relievers or decent relievers to back up the three good starters, well, then, then I think things could be very different. I mean, it, it's it's not an easy task, but I think the enthusiasm. I love re reading all the uh, Bryce Harper tweets about keeping uh, Rio Muda there. I mean, I, I just. I think there's something there for the spirit that they can build around and maybe they lose money another year. But at the same time, um, I, I think it just regenerates some things there that they really need. And they have a great manager. So, I mean, that's it's not like they're starting completely anew. So, Peter, let's jump ahead. Uh, we've been all talking about Dombrowski and everybody knows about Dave. A lot of people don't know about Jared Parker. Porter, I mean, Jared Porter, who was a baseball player and a hockey player in college and I know you know him well from living in that area uh, I know very well and I, I, I'll say this I, I don't know if there's a first time general manager who's better prepared for this job in this market than Jared I mean you know we're always kidding he, he loves hockey and he played at a place outside of Boston a prep school named Thayer Academy he played with with uh, Brooks Orpik and Ryan Whitney at, uh, at Thayer and he loves his hockey. He was a cocky and baseball captain at there and at Bowden and, and all that. But I, he, he's really a fascinating person because he, he started out, he worked as an intern with the Red Sox and immediately went down to Florida. That great story that Kenny talked. But he, uh, he loves the scouting part of it, but he loves everything in the game of baseball. I mean, he's done everything. He's, first of all, I mean, when he was the pro scouting director of the Red Sox under Ben Sherrington, he's the one who convinced them after they had the terrible year in 2012 to go out and get the right kind of guys as veterans. So they went out and they got Napoli, they got Victorino, they got David Ross, they got Ryan Dempster. They won the World Series the next year. And the year after that, when they were having to break up the team and, and Andrew Miller was going to be a free agent, he was the one who said, uh, Eduardo Rodriguez, don't, don't get the name guys. And Ronald Rodriguez, get well, he's already won 19 games in the big leagues in, in 2019. So, I mean, it's um, he's really good at that personnel stuff. He's done a great job with him in, in, the, in Arizona. He's tireless. Um, he's very ambitious. Uh, but I, I think what's interesting about him is he's done contract work. He's, he's been very tied in with the help of not only the pro scouting, but all the analytics departments for the Diamondbacks, which are very good. But most of all, and, and um, he reminds me of someone like, well, Tony La Russa and Bill Belichick call it uh, observational analytics. There are some things, you do have to be able to see certain things in players. I think that's what he's really good at. And he's also very measured, which I think makes him perfect to be working with Sandy all of a sudden. I must have had 20 of his friends yesterday saying to me, Sandy is the perfect guy for him to be a first-time general manager with because they're both extremely measured. They're both very smart. And, you know, I mean, I love the ambition of the Mets owner, but he may get a little impatient at times. He's got Sandy there to protect him, which most general managers need a little, <clears throat> little, uh, uh, a little bit of shielding uh, when they start out. But I think this is a great hire. He's really good and... and, and um, it's a big loss for the Diamondbacks, I can tell you that, but I think it'd be tremendous. And, and I, it's amazing, all his buddies that, that he started out with with the Red Sox, the, the Jed Hoyers and, and the Mike Hazens, all of them, I mean, they couldn't be happier for him. So he's, he, 
he's one of these people, and I think it was um, Jed Hoyer who said it well, he has an innate skill to be able to connect with anybody on any subject. And that's, to me, it's so important today for general managers to be able to relate and connect with players because it's not the way it used to be when general managers never talked to players. You know, and it's interesting, uh, Peter. I've heard nothing but rave reviews about him from people that I know in the game as well. And what kind of front office do you envision him putting around him? Well, I think Sandy, too. I mean, I, my guess is J.P. Ricciardi will come back and do, do a lot of baseball with them. He was part of it. Dickie Scott will come back as, as, the, uh, as the farm director. But it'll be a very, I mean, it'll be a scouting-heavy organization. He loves scouting. He loves, he loves to scout. He really respects scouts. I mean, I think it was Ben Charrington who said, what's amazing about s someone as, as young as Jared is that you can have the older scouts like the, the late, great Gary Hughes and the youngest guy in the analytics department, and they all relate to him and they all really like him. And I think that's a very important job. When you're running a business, the, the, the capacity to relate to everybody is terribly important. Jared Porter to the Mets, Dave Dombrowski with the Phillies, the changing guard in the NL East is what we visit with Peter Gammons about on this Monday. Peter, thanks as always, and we'll talk to you closer to the end of the week.